Okay, so uh, last time what we have seen, uh, we have seen couple of functions. Uh, so we have seen couple of CSV files and how we can actually manipulate some of the values, how we can identify missing values and how we can replace them with some of the uh, maybe characters or some strings. Or you can fill it with zeros, right? Or we you can uh, do something like forward filling and backward filling, uh, like based on rows and columns, right? So those things you see. Now one thing I want to know before we start, uh, if I'll tell you to create data dictionary for uh, for any functions, can you do that or not? Hello. Hello, am I audible? Yes, sir. Data dictionary is as in for this. Uh, so uh, we have seen different functions, right? So if I'll tell you, can now convert this into data dictionary or apply this to a single series, a single column or multiple columns. So you can do that, right? Yes. I mean, uh, for example, yesterday we did fill NA, but we did not apply to single columns, right? But if I'll tell you today that we also want to apply to individual column and we want to handle it separately. Instead of handling the whole data frame, we just want to handle every column separately. So you can do that, right? So uh, let's do the same thing. So let's recap it and let's convert uh, what we did yesterday into that kind of data dictionary now. So I already uploaded two files there. So the same files we were working yesterday, we are going to use it again. So. So we need student data anomalies and bank data anomalies. These two files we need. And today we are going to start with NumPy also. So only one function today we are going to use, but. Right. So now let me create a data frame for students. Read dot read CSV. Stream is stream login new right? Stream and Microsoft stream may login new right? But you know, video need a Stream, stream, stream. This many videos are there. Team is over. I have been lecture. Chalu hai actually. I have call. I know pro nahi ho raha hai. To fir wo bol raha hai. Main forward password jata hu. To contact administrator hai saath. I know. But dekho na nahi ho raha hai. Same password I am entering. अभी मेरा लेक्चर चालू है थोड़ी देर में कॉल करता हूं हेलो स्क्रीन इज विजिबल राइट यस सर या ओके सो विल जस्ट रीड द सीएसवी फाइल यस सर सो विल रीड द सीएसवी फाइल and then just try to print it. Mm, student DT is not defined. Is right. Now, uh, yesterday we did a fill NA. So we try to fill all these NNs with zeros and we try to replace this minus one various uh, variations of not available with different things. Now, what I want you to do along with me that uh, we want to apply fill NA, but in terms of data dictionary and we want to handle every column separately. But in case of rank, now we do not want to replace it with uh, the zero or something. We want to uh, show here something like no status. Right. And today later on what we want to do, we, uh, we actually want to replace this whole list. Let's say one, two, three, four is there. So we want to replace with this, let's say poor, good, very good, excellent. 
so complete list we want to take and then we want to completely change it there might be 10000 rows 1 lakh rows but we want to do it so we want to apply it on a particular csv file and we have to change everything right so that is what we are going to do it today but let's start with this one first feel and so we'll recall that also and so help me what i have to write for feel and uh, there is one more way when you work with this data frames now you can just keep on renaming so so that your previous setup will not be affected so if you just uh, do it like this now that new data frame i'm taking so this we will keep on doing now then the, uh, this particular data whatever manipulation we are doing will be stored here so this data will not get affected so you tell me now what to do कल किया था हमने फील एन है सो स्टूडेंट एंड स्कोर एस सी डॉट फील एन है रिमेंबर नाउ वी वांट टू अप्लाई डेटा डिक्शनरी हियर सो जस्ट फॉर मोर अंडरस्टैंडिंग व्हाट आई डू आई विल टेक दैट एक्सेल फाइल आल्सो सो वी कैन सी दैट आल्सो So, so now you can see that right so now first admit column so do we need to do anything here we have all this values 0 and 1 one means uh, this student is eligible for admission and not eligible right so here no issues are there so fill n is not required here now gr now you tell me what to write next हम ऐसा कुछ कर रहे थे ना वी यूज टू डू लाइक दिस राइट लेट्स फील एन ए जीरो देन ऑल दिस वैल्यूज विल बी रिप्लेस बाय दिस एन एफ एल प्रिंट राइट सो ऑल द मिसिंग वैल्यूज विल बी रिप्लेस बाय जीरो हियर बट वी डू नॉट वॉन्ट टू डू दिस वॉट वी वॉन्ट टू डू इज वी वॉन्ट टू टेक एवरी कॉलम सेपरेटली एंड हैंडल ऑल दिस इश्यूज एंड वी वॉन्ट टू मेक श्योर दैट इन रैंक we are not displaying zero or something we want to display some string like not no status something like that so what to do so we will use dictionary for this here ha huh, so so how we will do that like this then how to recall this so that na everybody is on the same page and everybody can do this so um then after that we'll use keys as the headings like admit yari okay. so will columns be... will be keys right what you want to tell yeah column names yes and all these things will be values right yes, for values what we'll do so we'll call let's say this is series 1 so combination of all these values will be one list right for this column similarly here here and here agree na everyone so let's start so first we want to handle gri separately so we'll create a list now tell me what to do kal exercise kiya na to usme sab tha na you must be remember and dot a and dot a right so all the variations you want to tell one good question someone asked me that how, how we will handle blank values so what do you yes. think what will yes sir i did not understand that is still like how so, you explain so simply we will leave, leave it like this that's it so okay but blank and missing value is the same thing because see here na is written right but this is not in readable format but still there is something is written so where so all in this cells we can say these are blank values so missing values these are not the ones here this all these things will call it anomalies that we need to solve but only this columns where no values are there empty values these are the null values or these are the blank values for us so so it is like this only so if you want to replace that only way is just write it like this and now there is uh, and this is negative value right so we we wrote na all the variations of na blank value and minus one there is one more thing is possible yesterday i told you uh, for dropping so there is a function called drop na that we'll see it today after fill na so how we can drop different columns and how we can do different variations there so what i said uh, there is a property how equal to all so automatically 
for example this row is empty so automatically this will be dropped right but there is one more property axis so if i want to drop a column instead of row then i'll just write axis equal to one or axis equal to columns then if particular column is empty that column will be removed not particular uh, rows so like we can control that axis zero and one zero means rows one means columns that's how it will work right so here we are done now you help me with gpa same thing but gpa be only have negative value so so do we need to do anything about any other values but as not, let's assume not that available <coughs> na we have so not available is there yeah so we need to mention not available and i think blank values are also there yeah first first row is there right n dot a now n dot a dot n dot n dot a dot is also there okay it is there okay rank now what we can do here so the negative values must not be there so minus 1 so minus 1 and not available is also there and na is also there right now uh, this is one way we are writing uh, maybe next session when we will do now then i'll show you that how we can even apply functions here so uh, so do you agree that instead of this i can also write it like this something like i can just define a function and for this gre i call a separate function then gpa separate function rank separate function somehow i can call so that way also we can go about it right currently we are giving it individually like this so we are handling every column like this but when uh, you will have let's say 100 columns you are dealing with so you might write some modular functions and those functions will be called when as and when appropriate that is also one of the way right so first we'll finish the basic functions and we'll we'll try to do that okay done so we are done so so what happened we passed what we passed list So when the same issue is there, okay. So we don't need to write it in list. That is what that time. In the syntax. It last time, right? This way only. So let me try.
can do that. Why it's not? Okay, okay, same thing. So we can do that. List will be there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, I thought because there are so many properties, so sometimes you so in hands on this thing happens, sometimes you'll get errors. So that's good, actually. That allows you to correct. They're done, right? This thing is not stored. How come? So we're playing GR with NA, all this. Okay. Sir, uh, do it like PD dot read CSV. Yes. Then the but name. But we did already now. Now we don't need to do it again now. Okay. PDS, okay. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Uh, I mean, we need to put it inside. Okay. Yeah, so actually, fill in is property of this one. That's why it's working. Unexpected end of file. Sir, uh, closing is not. Yes, we instead of so instead of reading again and again, can we just create a copy? Copy with copy of which one? Panda uh, hard copy functionality. We can do that, but sir, one more uh, round bracket at the end. Just a second. If yeah. you put uh, one more round no. bracket at the end, student data will get closed. Yeah, no, yeah. Yes. Thank you. But feel any? There will be no equal to like this. I think it will be like this only. Let me check the syntax. Feel any? Sir, sir, there would be any values, right? Any values, any underscore values, not feel any. No, feel any is also separate function. N under values we did last time, but I want to try this one. Feel N. Just a second. We can do that. Everybody's doing. Let me check one example only itself. Because data dictionary is applicable everywhere, so we should be able to apply. Let me try. This is me, fill in. So let me again go back to where we were and quickly. So find text student underscore dt dot fill in it's a zero. Okay, dt object is an issue.
pd dot right now dt dot fill any replace with zero okay so now it's working so now we can try what i'm telling that data dictionary so dt dot fill and a instead of zero we want to use data dictionary so currently let me take just one column let me try so gre and we want to replace everything so let's say na not available and let's say minus one It's not allowing me a list here. Okay, let me try that any values that we were doing. So that is part of the CSV actually. And then let's go values. Right. So same way we can just do that GRE. Let me replace everything with dot and dot not available and minus one for example. How come this is not working? Yesterday we did the same thing, right? Any values equals to the opening. Yeah. Hmm. So, right. So similarly, uh, we can do it for all three columns separately that we did yesterday. But why not fill in? So I'll I'll solve it and I'll come back to that. This actually we can use list there also, but maybe there is some syntax error. Sir, but it didn't get changed in the. Resulting table, if you see, there's still NA and minus one. one in this one. But so we the, did it. GRA, yeah, it's not happening. Because uh, fill NA just fills NA and values, right? Yeah. So we, yeah, but fill NA can actually uh, fill values now. So uh, if I'll do this, for example, if we'll do this DT dot fill NA. So what it will do? It will identify all such stuff, and then it will just fill directly with zero, right? So what I want to do is instead of this filling with zero, I want to do separately. We want to handle every column separately, right? So here what is happening everywhere zero is coming, but it should not coming like this. So let's say if I I'll take GRE here, I want to take everything all the variations differently and then handle this GRE column separately, GP separately, rank separately. So only way is we can use data dictionary here. So this is actually possible. I'll just solve the error later on, and I'll come. Like, I'll take the example again. There is some syntax error only. Otherwise, it's definitely possible. We can handle because these are series only. So we can handle all these series separately, and then we can create our own data frame. So that is also possible. But no issues. Uh, or the, we can try one more function. We can call it on every column of uh, data frame. So that is what I was doing. But there is some syntax error. So we'll solve it later. Let's go ahead. Uh, uh, so just like fill and uh, there is a function called drop and which will drop all the values from us. So let's say if I'll just write drop and a by default, it will be rows. So if any rows are there, all the values are missing that will be replaced. Right. So you can see that index zero. Sir, so sir I, in your huh. in your fill and I think you have hmm. an extra opening bracket <clears throat> where like fill and equals to the dictionary. It should be like that. But we did that, but we'll solve it. I think uh, let's finish the remaining functions and then uh, I will try to solve this example. So, uh, so uh, drop in, eh? you can see that this index will be dropped. So this row will be dropped. So only single row where uh, no miss missing values are there. All these are empty values and this particular row will be removed. Now let's say I'm adding one column here. So after rank, let's say I have something called remarks. I'm saving it. And if we apply, let's see method equal to uh, 
just need to check. Oh, so your screen is a bit delayed. Yeah, now you can see. No, sir. No, sir. Just a second. Let me do it again. Now. Hello. Can you see now? No, sir. Screen is not visible. Yes, sir. It's it's visible. You are um, yeah. Google Cola, right? Na, apne. Okay, got it. Cola, yeah. bhi. Ah, no, Cola, bhi. Hmm. Right. So when you do x is equal to one, that way also we can go about it. So different property of drop n is there. So. Axis is nothing but zero and one, so rows and columns that you can decide. Default is zero, right? If I write how equal to all, then it will identify all the rows where all the missing values are there. That will be replaced. And then let's say you want to keep a particular row where only one missing value is there, so you can use this property threshold. If I set threshold equal to one, then automatically all the rows where single missing value is there will be there. As it is, remaining rows will be removed. Or more than one missing values are there, right? And in place actually will not use it here. But uh, when we are dealing with time series kind of data that we want to handle uh, dates and time and different type of columns or temperature and all, so I'll show you that example that how we can apply this. Right? So let's say if I do hi how equal to all, it will do nothing. It will just identify all the rows. It will compare all the rows and where missing values are there will be removed straight away. Right now, let's say if I want to remove a column, by default is rows. So instead of that, I can just write x is equal to one or x is equal to columns, and you can see that this remarks column is removed from here, right? Because this is an empty column, so that is removed. Uh, yeah. So now, let's say. Uh, I want to set a threshold. So let's say we want to find, uh, we want to keep all the rows where only single missing value is there. So we can do, do simply thresh equal to one, right? So if you check this Excel sheet, you'll find out that all the rows where only single missing value is there, that is as it is. If I'll do thresh equal to two. Then the same thing will be applied with two missing values, right? So this argument in drop n will allow you to keep a particular row with particular missing value. Now, one thing we have not seen is what we have done is we have tried to replace all these things with, let's say, field zero and all this. But there is a function called replace, which will help us to replace a particular value. So if we'll go for that. So first, quickly, I'll just show you the property of replace. So pandas replace. keep on checking like this because I keep on telling you you cannot remember all the properties. So you can see that even my mistakes are happening because different syntax in uh, Python little bit changes there as compared to we used to work with other languages. So yeah, so first property. So this regex will use it separately. It is called regular expression. So uh, I'll show you that uh, let's say sometimes uh, there's a date and you want to give some kind of date range or that kind of things are there, then we'll go for this. Otherwise, by default, we'll deal with list, dictionary, series, and all these things only. Right? So replace will do nothing, but let's say if you want to replace a value minus one with some other value, let's say minus one will be replaced with 99. So I can just use this function. I can just mention minus one comma 99 and automatically that particular value will be replaced. Right. So let, let's see one example again. So here we need uh, two packages. So already in pandas is there. So we need to use numpy also because we are going to use one function of numpy np dot nn. So we'll try to replace some of the values with nn also in a similar fashion. Right. So let's say if you want to. So df dot read csv. Or let's say directly if you want to replace a particular value. So let's say replace and let's say I want to replace all the values with minus one. And then I want to replace it with NN, for example. Simply. So all the values where minus one is there, not different. 
again now i need to do it again pre dot csv So the n in n should now any n should be capital the second n. So I did. So I did the same thing. Yeah, yeah. Last n. Yeah. Right. So all the minus one again has been replaced with n p dot n n. So you can see that. So all this n n has come by default. So uh, instead of this, if you want to do Let's say I want to take multiple values from here and I want to replace with it M A N N. So same way I can just pass on list here. So let's say let's say I want to replace all this N A's with some values called not, not status. I'm just taking this. Comma. So by default I'm keeping N N as of now and then we'll replace this with Right. So now everything. So now instead of this, what if I want to replace this with no status? Right. So you can see that no status has come here. Right. Now instead of this, again we want to do the same thing. We want to handle all the columns separately. So what we can do again, we can apply list. So again, we'll take every column separately. So let's say we are taking GRE. So I'm taking let's say GRE first, and then we'll just write down values where we want to replace. So let's say we want to replace. Uh, so whatever is available in GRE, let's say minus one NA and N dot A dot. So all three values are there. So I'll just quickly write down. So let's say minus one. And dot C dot, and then let's say N A. Right. So all these values we want to replace with N N. So we'll do that now. But in case of remarks column, what we want to do? We want to keep it no status. So wherever all these kind of values are there, we want to give some kind of status like this, okay, no status. And in case of G P A. Same thing is there. So let's say N A. So minus one. N A. And dot A dot. Right. So and not available. And then all these things actually we want to replace by N P. So in replace, as I told you. Uh, two arguments are there. First argument that you want to replace, and second argument where with which value you want to replace the whole thing, right? So n p dot n n. So minus syntax I have done somewhere. G R E. We'll just take as of now minus one. So only one value it will allow me. So I need to write a list here. That is the only way. Everything I want to replace using n a n. Marks, yeah, single column. So that is not there. Okay, I need to close this file first. Yeah, so it is not saved. Sir, put a comma after G R. No, no. Here, problem is different actually. Uh, What is happening? This file was previous, na. So in that, that remarks was not there. 
no sir it's saying put a comma after your gre ah, that request. is also there this issue is also there what you tell is right gre yeah here i'll forget this comma yeah right so we're done so the syntax errors will keep on coming that's fine so we we'll need to take it openly so now we are reading this file and we are replacing gre so all the values minus 1 na with np dot nn remarks so wherever no status is that is replaced with nn minus 1 na na not available all these things will be replaced with nn right? so this way also we can apply data dictionary like this now let's say instead of this what i want to do i just want to handle particular column but i want to replace a complete list with another list then what we'll do so let's say you have remarks where this 1 2 3 4 rank we have given already yeah if i need to print yeah now this rank is there sorry not remarks in the case of rank now you have 1 2 3 4 you have given now you want to replace this 1 2 3 4 with poor let's say good very good and excellent four things you want to do then what can be done what do you think so again i can use this function replace but now how replace works first argument where you want to replace comma with the values where you want to replace right so first argument would be what in our case it would be a list which we will replace with another list right so if 1 2 3 and 4 is there then we want to replace it with let's say poor good very good right it's not being replaced yet maybe double quotes Two, three, and four. Now, just quickly. So, you have missed one quote. Where? after very yeah, good oh yeah so you guys can see i cannot okay but still it's not replaced it should be replaced automatically complete text is a powerful feature that it can actually replace the whole list like this let me try so let me check if np.nn is working or it's not also working sir i Some... think i think you need to use values uh, keywords to re to underscore replace equals to the first list comma value equals to so we did na so this you want to tell this function let me try again what you are telling no sir within within df dot replace open bracket to underscore replace equals to the first list 
comma no, value. Can we do it? Like this. Even this way we can do it. What you're telling right, but uh, we don't need to do all this. This replace is a very powerful feature. It understands automatically. One more example. So let's say if I'll find minus one and straight away if I'll give this. Otherwise, so we had that NA values, right? We can directly do that. So why replace is required? If replace cannot help us with, so wherever minus one is there, I think everything. reading the file again. That's why the remark values NA and only. So you are, you are telling me that I need to uh, read this file again. Think it again, na? So then rank ke values and then pehle se hi hai. But why it's happening? Okay, let me do it again. No issue. So we'll keep it till uh, exercise two only. Uh, you try to solve that only. After I'll cover some more examples. We'll go for three. So, but there is something wrong with this file. We are not getting the updated value. Now, so now it's okay, right? So now let me try again. So let's say dt dot replace. First, we'll just uh, keep a list. Let's say if I want to replace minus one with something called np dot na. So wherever minus one is there, it should be automatically replaced. It's not working. There's something wrong with the function. Sorry, no issue. Yeah. We'll fix it. So keywords. Sorry. Which one? Or uh, pd dot read is csv. But that is there. Yeah. It's df, sir. Df. Sir, it's df, and uh, uh, down you are using dt. Okay. But still, it's not done. Nah. Minus one should be replaced now. Nah. No issues. I'll fix it, and we'll do it again. Don't worry. Right. So. I'll try to take a couple of more examples next time and we'll sir, go for it. Printing. So uh, sir, you're not defining, replacing. you're not defining what to replace. We're defining now. We want to replace minus one. That is first argument with this. Sir, but minus check, row check, of. Check the, check the data uh, see, frame. Uh, in this Just file. Print. See, you, you agree that, right? This data is data frame, which has all these values. Now, wherever minus one is there, should be replaced with this. No, sir. D E A D F S S. It's D F, sir. D T K. But even if, but ये तो चलना चाहिए ना. This should be replaced ना. Now it's D F, right? So this D D F is my data. D F में remarks में one two three है ही नहीं ना. But remarks हम कर ही नहीं रहे ना. Currently we are just finding all the values. हमने अभी column बताया इसको कि which column we want to replace. We just want to find all minus one values that is present here should be replaced with this, and it should be done. But somehow something's wrong. No issues. We'll fix it again. So uh, as of today, you just complete exercise number two, right? Uh, up to first one, two, and three. Fourth one is still pending. So uh, we'll do this again. So next session again uh, we'll do this, and I'll just maybe there's something wrong, or I just need to find out. No issues. So it happens when we do hands on sometimes, right? So uh, we, only thing we did is uh, drop n. So if you want to solve that part, that you can do that. That drop n, how we can remove all the columns and all the rows with empty values, right? So next time uh, I'll fix these issues and we'll do it again, right? So if you want to try drop n again, so you can try at least. Because I, I told you there are so many different functions are there, so I just need to. Because it's been some time for me also. Because now we do, what we do directly, we try to handle it using encoding some of the files directly, right? So uh, only drop any we are covering today, and you just uh, try to solve drop any, right? And fill any basic. Sir, sir, my work. I can share the code in the chat. You can see. So it's working in your case. Yes, sir. It's working on mine. So let me try last time. Let me remove everything. Let's start again.
import pandas as to compile as np that's it dt i am taking dt pd dot read csv Read, um, read. Yeah, yeah. Just okay. Now, DT I can print. Okay, done. So, here now, so what now, you're telling? Uh, 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 DT dot replace mm -hmm. open bracket mm -hmm. two underscore replace. So, here, it's yeah, showing. yeah, it's 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 showing you the hint in hint to replace here. You put minus one. And in value you put np dot nan. Now I, I agree with you. This is also one of the way. No sir, not like this. Uh, remove okay. the remove the bracket. This one. Two replace, sir. Two replace equals minus one. This way you are telling. Comma sir, and sir, comma sir, comma sir. and uh, value equals np dot nan. You have to use a value keyword. Value equals. Don't write it like this. Okay. But still, it's not done. That's what I'm telling. There is something wrong. See, you can see. Sir. Ha. Huh. Sir, the data frame value reading minus one converts into a string. So you need to give inverted commas minus one to replace. Sir, replace ka spelling yeah. in replace. Yeah. Replace. Sir, if you won't give to replace also it would work just give in inverted commas because while you're reading the data frame minus one is read as string yes, mm, now we're done so what is telling uh, i got it so basically uh, if you want to check this now so you can do this like this dt and zero then you can actually come to know the type Sir, curly braces. Curly braces, yes. Today, all these brackets are not working with me. And this is box, right? All this curly. Sir, you can just do like dt dot info, and then it will give you everything. That's true also. This also should work now. <laughs> Then no, you have to specify column name like df of what which column then zero is itself that now if i want to know type of this particular or let's say column name what you're telling so let's say gre yeah so but it should show me that this is okay so this is but if i'll do this also then also it should work okay no no issues. So uh, we'll try. Uh, we'll uh, do this again. So this replace thing will. I'll cover it again. Only drop any part. We'll do it today, and only that exercise you try to complete. Right? What I tell. I what I told. Uh, that is possible actually. Replace can directly do that, but I don't know. Something is wrong. But uh, even we don't need to specify value and this. Without that also, it's possible. Yes, sir, it was working without that also. I know there is there's something wrong with my Google collaboration. So I just need to fix it. Right, so we'll do it again. Don't worry. Right, so only drop any part. Uh, we learn today like how to remove blank columns, blank rows, and so on. So uh, exercise, I think one, uh, two, you can finish. That is drop any part. Remaining part will keep it as it is. Right, and later on I'll share a folder where you can uh, upload your exercises also. So I'll fix this and uh, we'll do it again. So I think uh, Monday might we might not meet, but I think Wednesday we'll have session. Because Monday is, I think, holiday. But Wednesday, uh, in the session, I'll cover this again. Replace part, and we'll do it again. Right? So in the meantime, at least exercise one and two, try to finish. Uh, whatever I've covered, so like make the most of these weekends and try to cover all those things. Huh? Because uh, I know that all these functions are working directly, but maybe there is something wrong with my collab or something, some package are missing or something. So I'll fix it, no issues.
right so we ended so any queries about drop, drop in is there or any previous sessions have taken so if you we can discuss and others will quickly end okay so right so we'll meet again uh, next session i'll uh, cover all some of the functions again thank you